Today marks primary election day in Massachusetts to fill a U.S. and state Senate seat. In the 1st Suffolk District, voters are focused on three candidates. State Representatives Linda Dorsina Forey and Nick Collins, along with newcomer Maureen Dayhill. All three are in the race to fill former Senator Jack Hart's vacated seat. Dayhill, a small business owner and founder of South Boston's online magazine Cotton Southie, is ready to begin her political career. I decided to run because I feel like there needs to be new energy on Beacon Hill and um, I'm not an elected official yet <laughs> and um, I just feel like I bring some new experience to the table and I'm really excited about running. Representative Collins, who previously worked as an aide to Senator Hart, has been endorsed by several unions including the AFL-CIO. I think um, my track record uh, and the work that I've, I've, uh, I've done, the relationships I've developed, uh, the success we've had is something to build on. Um, and to utilize in the state senate. How are you? Dorsina Forey has been endorsed by the Boston Globe. If elected, she would be the first woman to hold the Senate seat for this district. I have the experience of eight years as a legislator. I really feel that I've been able to bring real resources into the neighborhood and real results to the community. But, you know, it's just an exciting time. I had, a, I, you know, I worked well with Senator Jack Hart, um, working on key issues in the neighborhoods that impact our communities and really trying to strengthen families. That's what I stand for. And so to be able to run for this seat, um, you know, it is a special election and I'm excited. Tonight, one of these three candidates will be our new state senator for the 1st Suffolk District. Though voter turnout was low today, all three candidates made sure to get out and make a final effort to get their message across. Reporting for Neighborhood Network News, I'm Brooke Singman.